Hi, my name is Dex from MyConsult and since 2003, we've actually been helping business owners simplify their accounting systems. If you'd like to support us to create more contents frequently, do like and subscribe today. Alright, so with the implementation of e-invoice, there are multiple components that we will need to take note of. Apart from obtaining your customer's information, we will also need to make sure that your stock list is updated accordingly. So in this video, we'll be looking into how we can create and making sure all the necessary information is updated so that your e-invoice will be validated seamlessly. Alright, so when we first go into our maintenance store item, Okay, come here to the drop down list here. Come here to store item maintenance. Alright, let's create a new item. Let's say we are creating a laptop. Okay. So straight away from this screen, right, you will be able to see there's a new field here called classification. Alright, so this classification is what? So when you pull down this drop down list, you will realize that there's a predetermined list provided by LHDN. In this list, you will see categories that are actually similar to those items that we will claim as a relief when we do our own tax filing, right? So this is true because upon the full implementation of e-invoice, any relief claims you will need a validated e-invoice, okay? So from a supplier standpoint, we would need to classify our items correctly. So you can actually drop down here and you can actually scroll and identify which one matches your product or services that you're providing okay so if it's not in this list we will select this thing called zero to two others okay so for our example here we are using laptop so we're gonna find here and there's this thing called computer smartphone and tablet okay so you must put this classification code here the next thing that you will realize on the top here is there is a function called must generate e invoice so there are certain items that we are not allowed to generate consolidated e invoice you must tick here and individual e invoice must be created when you sell this item all right Okay, so the next thing you will need to take note of is the unit of measurement of your stock item. So let's say we sell this item by pieces. So we can actually come here and we always put the unit of measurement here. So uh, some of people will actually put things like PC or PCS or some even put PIECS, right? Correct. So based on the e-invoice guideline, you will need to follow LHDN preset unit of measurement. However, when we talk to our clients, the feedback is they would still prefer to keep their existing unit of measurement presentation. So what happens now? Autocom has came up with another field. You can come here to others. Okay. So you can see there's a new thing called e-invoice measurement. All right. So what you can do is you can come here and you can find pieces. Okay, so you can hear, and their code here is H87, so nothing to do with uh, PCS or PC or PIECS. All right, so we must select here H87 and we just press OK. All right, so of course, this is the manual way of updating each item. However, what happens if you have about 1,000, 2,000, 10,000 items? It will definitely take a lot of time just to update this information. So, in auto count, what happened is we actually created a way to do mass update. What you need to do is you just come here to find press search and all your items will come up you press check all and then here we have this thing called easy item okay so click easy item here you can see all your items here and let's say for example you want to amend every single item in your system for the same information so let's say we want to select all we can press here and we can press the red color to do the start the editing all right so let's say for example i want to change every classification code to 0 to 2 and i want to say every invoice uh, every item must generate an invoice i press yes okay so once we take this to we press apply then we press save okay so how do you know your items are updated we can pull out the field we can come here to column chooser under classification pool and you can come up here and you can see all 22 
if you make a mistake here we can still come back here we can edit and we can say okay this is actually not 22 but number three okay you press okay and then you can see this is the classification code all right so this is actually how autocom will cater for the new changes in the invoice implementation do leave in the comments below if you have any further questions all right thank you